Hello, my name is Caitlin Coleman Waldron, and I am the Michael D. Co. Archivist at Planting Fields Foundation. Today, I'll be talking about the acquisition process of the landscape design firm Innocente and Webbles Historical Records by the Archives at Planting Fields Foundation, and how the operation marked both places as sites of memory in new ways in the process. Planting Fields is a beautiful Long Island Gold Coast estate from the 1920s, located in Oyster Bay, New York. The grounds, 409 acres and still extant in its entirety, were designed by the Olmsted brothers and feature greenhouses, rolling lawns, formal gardens, wooded paths, and outstanding plant collections. In addition to the landscape features, almost all of the original buildings survive, including the Tudor Revival Mansion residence of William Robertson Co. and May Rogers Co. W.R. Co., an immigrant from England, was born into modest circumstances and made his fortune in marine insurance. Nearly a thousand of these opulent country estates like planting fields were built after the Civil War through about 1940, making this area the largest concentration of large estates anywhere in the US. Just under 60% of them survive today. About 400 are in residential use, most on reduced sized lots. Planting fields was one of the last of these estates to be created in 1913. The site is currently stewarded by two entities, New York State Department of Parks, Recreation and Historic Preservation and Planting Fields Foundation. The foundation was founded in 1952 by W.R. Coe and is a not-for-profit public educational foundation and is my home institution. Innocente and Webble was founded almost a century ago in 1931 by Umberto Innocente and Richard K. Webble. The, film, the firm built a robust clientele in Long Island's Gold Coast area, designing formal gardens for private estates neighboring planting fields and larger landscapes for universities, businesses, and local parks. It soon expanded its reach up and down the east coast of the United States and enhanced its reputation as a major player in the field of landscape design, designing the grounds of Furman University and Augusta National Golf Course, among others. Demonstrating the significance of Innocente and Webble's work within the history of landscape design in America, the development of a monograph on the firm's distinct contribution is presently underway and is being led by the Library of American Landscape History in Amherst, Massachusetts. The historic records play a central role in that scholarship. Innocente and Webble continues its work today with clients all over the country. In anticipation of an office relocation, Innocente and Webble slated its entire cache of historic records for disposal. Almost a century's worth of client records, planting plans, design drafts, original photography, consultant lists, and correspondence, when, and correspondence was on its way to the trash. Being a business, Innocente and Webble did not comprehend the historical value of their records and were unable to retain and steward these materials. In addition to being a rich source of its own institutional history, within the INW Historic Records is a chronicle of 20th century American landscape design in a dy dynamic, changing Long Island society. As Gary Hildebrand states in the preface to Making a Landscape of Cont Cont Continuity, the practice of Innocente and Webble, the firm's project, projects were of a high art of landscaped architecture that had been executed with great skill and craft, but of a kind that had been questioned because they were based on spatial conventions and a way of life that were no longer plausible or desirable. In essence, INW's output illustrates a solid 20th century landscape design establishment. It reflected the history of the field as practitioners of great range and consistency. Recognizing the potential loss of so much history in the criticality, criticality in the critical nature of retaining the collection locally, Planting Fields Foundation intervened, staged, staged an emergency rescue, and rehomed the enormous 250 linear foot collection to the Manor House, a historic structure on the Planting Fields grounds. The, res the rescue not only preserves a significant historic collection, but furthers the goal of the foundation to build the archives collection in a manner that creates context of the existing holdings to include historic materials that speak to broader subject strengths inherent in the current collections. Collecting practices previously hewed close to the Co family and did not venture outside the boundaries of the estate. The acquisition of the Innocente and Wobble Historic Records collection accelerated the development of a collecting philosophy that identifies voids within and opportunities for our holdings. Landscape design is an integral component both of Planting Fields history and its contemporary importance. Today, Planting Fields Foundation core operations recognizes the significance of the Co estate's design and natural environment to continued relevance for the site for visitors and stakeholders. It is in this tradition that the foundation looks to the future to expand our reach and instate a new trajectory of stewardship 
that positions academic rigor in archival preservation central to our operations.